constructed around a tried and tested principle, AIDA. I don't know if you've heard of AIDA, but it's attention, interest, desire, action. This is, this is copywriting in a nutshell. Sounds simple, but actually interpreting what AIDA means in the eyes of your customers is another matter. But obviously you have, so number one, attention. How do, how do you gain someone's attention? For a start, you don't write for a crowd. You focus in on the attention of your target audience. There's no point in trying to grab everyone's attention because you're wasting your time and it, w it won't achieve your ends. Once you grab their attention with a headline and a compelling subhead, which must deliver, at least in essence, the message you want to translate to your, or transmit to your, to your prospects, then you need to maintain their interest. There's no point in grabbing their interest with a, with a with a hard-hitting headline and then just losing it by sort of rambling on in, in the body text. Now I'm talking here generally whether this is a sales letter, a website, a billboard ad, because I write all of these things consistently and the same ideas, the same concepts and rules apply. Once you know the rules of course you can break them. There's no end of, of rule breaking and I, I go, in, go in for this daily but you, one must understand the elements first. Okay you've got their interest. Desire absolutely critical. Out of, the, out of interest grows desire. How do you create desire? You create desire by hitting your prospects with the benefits, what's in it for them. They don't care about you, they want to know what's in it for them and what's better for them. Why, why you? you know, why buy your product, service or idea? Well, couldn't they go somewhere else? You create desire to the point where you get to the fourth element which is action. The hands hovering over the phone I was just about to write you an email to find out more about your product. So you have to make this, this transition, and it's very subtle, from desire to action. That comes with creating a, a sense of urgency, a sense of, well, if, if I don't do this now, then this, this offer is likely to go away. This doesn't mean hitting people over the head with a sort of, you know, these will run out tomorrow kind of product, unless they, unless they are, unless that is plausible. It's much more, more subtle than that. You get your message across that this is something that need, needs to be done now. They still may be vacillating. You, then you arrive at the point where you offer them a cast iron guarantee. So even if they make that buying decision now, it doesn't matter. There's absolutely no risk involved. The action comes from the fact that there's, 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 there's plenty in it for them, but absolutely no element of risk. So that's AIDA in a nutshell.